Hey, howdy everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm checking out Relica today. New Relica, that's fun. I love Relica. Uh, I found Relica, I think, through Burb, because he made a video on them a while back, and then I listened to their, the, the one EP that they had that was really, really good. Um, I don't know what I am. I think that's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all I've heard from them is just that EP. I love that EP. It's it's so much fun. It's such a good EP. Only six songs in the EP, but all of them are bangers. New album, Secrets of the Future, No More Time to Waste. Step into the center of the dying light. Climb it, make it rich, revitalize it till you're purified. Take and pray Ooh, okay. Ooh. That's one thing, Monique's lyrical flow is so good. I just, I love her vocals. Nice, nice, good chorus. <clears throat> nice second chorus switch up. Nice. Good first track. Great lyrical flow. Pretty fun chorus. I didn't, it wasn't like amazing on first listen, but it might be a grower. A lot of the choruses are kind of like that. The chorus on safety and um, what, it, like the first, the first track off the EP? Oh, the first track is the title track. Okay. Yeah. Those are my two favorites. I think safety and I don't know what I am are my favorites off of that EP. But again, Monique's almost like rap-like sort of lyrical flow is just so it's so fun and that's something that i always harp on when it's bad in other albums but with relica like it's just so good here Ooh, the bass this is so good A lot of dark chords in this one. I liked all the dark chords there with that song. So that song had like, it was a lot of like, oh, was it? There were a lot of those half step off from normal chord type chords. For example, like we're in the key here of B flat minor. And then here you've got like, it would go to like this chord and then this chord. This chord is like a half step up from that. Things like that. It's basically a minor key, but you make the make the three a major instead of a minor, and then you add on a flat two. So it's like one flat two, sharp three, four five six seven one. Is this Born of Osiris? There's a lot of dark chords in this whole album so far. Da, 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 da. Whoa! That was such a good switch up. I didn't even notice it happened until like seven measures in. Dude, uh, y'all know I love 6-8. Doing a switch up into 6-8 that's that seamless, incredible. And we're back to 4. <laughs> wow. This is the best song so far by a long shot. I love that melody. Man, it's so easy to reach for. It's so cool. Very cool. Alright, so this one, the way that they did that time signature transition... It was so seamless because well there's two main ways that you can do it generally you have a, a thing where you keep the the beat going and then that beat just transitions into three of that beat where you have like the faster part as it keeps going. I'll, I'll explain this further so you've got that and then you have another modulation where you can keep the strong beats but change it from a duple feel to a triple feel in this one they did the first one that's that's kind of what it 
what it was here. 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, da, 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 This is probably the worst way of doing this. I'll, I'll just I'll play it on piano. <laughs> like, I'm trying to explain this in the worst way possible. That was so well done. <laughs> it was so cool. That's my favorite song so far. Another 6-8. Let's go. 6-8 just hits different, man. I'll, I'll always stand by that. This is the best chorus so far. They're using that same key here. <laughs> this is so good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go. Oh. The little pulsing triplets in the background. <laughs> oh. Wow, that ending was incredible. This album seems to be getting better as it goes along. First two tracks were good. Killstar was even better. This might be even better. That whole chorus part. I know I'm not getting the melody right, but whatever it is. Very interesting. They're doing like a sort of a switch between the the normal minor, natural minor. And then like what I was saying before. With making it major. I'm not bothered by the fact that they're using the same sort of, like the same mode the whole time. Because all the songs feel different, and they're in different keys and all that. We had like, uh, we had the B flat, we had an A, now this one's in C. I forgot. Wait a minute. That's <laughs> all right. Sorry, that's just a that's a, just an insane coincidence. But that chord progression is like the beginning of Flowey's boss battle from Undertale. See, I'm showing my nerd status. Um, and then the song is called "The Flower." Just something that came into my head, and I just I I had to say it. When it fades, Another six eight, a slower six eight. Ooh, good bringing it back down. Okay. Ooh. All right. Get it, I guess. <laughs> that song was really cool. I liked the, the slowness of it. It had that slow, like, rocking three like one two three four five six one like i said earlier i really really like that i like that it kind of kept it chill for most of the song that little breakdown section at the end sort of was really really cool i, I like that overall really solid song i still think i still think killstar is number one flower number two very good album i'm really enjoying this let's keep going <laughs> let's go let's get it let's go Oh, this is fun.
All these song structures are so interesting, because they never feel repetitive. I'm not sure how I feel about this chorus. Let's go. Against the dying of the light. Let's go. Let's go. Keep building. Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. I was expecting something a little bigger. I liked that one, but I don't think it was quite as good as all the other tracks in the album. It was fun, but I don't know if it's quite as memorable as the other ones. I think the songwriting is cool. It used the just standard natural minor instead of the instead of that that I've mentioned before. I think the little electronic thing was a little bit weird. I like that upper like synth part. I didn't really like, I don't think. Something about it felt weird to me. Back to the electronic lip smacking. Monique ASMR. Ooh! That's crunchy. Listen to that bass go, dude. Dude, all their songs feel so unique. Oh! <laughs> that was one of the best songs in the album. I'm not sure if I like it as much as Killstar, but I think it's better than The Flower. I think this is my new number two. This album is just so good. There's been a few things that I haven't really liked about it, but overall it's been incredible. I'm going to look up what the name of this mode is because I keep forgetting and I'm very sorry, but I'm not going to pretend to know something when I don't. Give me a second. Okay, I was close. It's Phrygian Dominant. I was unsure if it was just a variation of Phrygian or if it was something else. It is just Phrygian Dominant. I, I was saying Phrygian before. Yeah, so basically if you don't know how Phrygian works, there's different modes. The way I think of it is like, think of the key of C. All white keys. Phrygian is starting on E. So if you play all white keys starting on E, then the dominant makes the third major. And that's what this is. That's what it was. I just forgot the dominant part, I guess. My mistake. Let's keep going. Crossfire. Big fan of this. I love that this is keeping it more mellow. <laughs> Oh, that's an intro. Oh, why does that go so hard, dude? I don't even know. That song was interesting. It was a lot slower, more mellow than the other ones, but it, it kept it interesting throughout. The build was really, really cool. I love the, ah, like that part. My voice still isn't 100% after being sick, but it's fine. <laughs> this is about to pop off. Here we go. Ooh, the bass! Man, I just love bass so much. Ooh! Dude, the drumming is so good. I have not praised that yet, but the drumming is incredible. I don't think I know the drummer's name, but... Broken drum. Like, there's so many switch-ups in the drumming patterns, it's so interesting. The bass! Very interesting. I think that one might be a grower. It was a lot of fun rhythmically, but harmonically... I didn't like it as much as some of the others. Oh, this is beautiful. This feels like a ballad track without being as slow as most ballad tracks are. I love the harmonic progression in this song. This is so good. Some piano. Mmm, these chords. Especially this one. 
with such conviction that it could shift my whole path. Yeah. Trace my trajectory yeah. to the dark place, blind trust. Yeah. Bars. Skia. I need to shut up. Stars cross and need for a moment. Ugh. Fleeting points of symmetry. Stars cross and meet for a moment. That's so beautiful. <laughs> and she takes it up. Oh my goodness. This is definitely one of the best songs in the album. Oh. Whatever is that thing? I love it. I love it. Please give me more of that. Oh my goodness. This might be my favorite track in the entire album. Stars crossing the river. I forgot the word already. Neat. <laughs> the build up over this whole song has been crazy. To find the power that comes with fear, just like the light in a spark. Oh, dude. This is the best track in the album. This is it. This is better than Killstar. I am thoroughly impressed. The progression of the song, the progression of the chords, the melodies, the rap flow, it's so good. There's so much emotional weight to that song. Oh, the major chord there. Oh, and then with a six eight section, they know how to get me. And that's it. That's the album. Wow. I think Sparked worked better as an outro track. If they flipped these two, I think I would have liked the flow of the album a little bit better. But as it stands, I don't think that it hurts my overall thoughts on it, just purely because this isn't an album that is meant to flow as an album as well as something like Mustad and Nirvana or, or any other like more concepty album. This is like a, a more individual song focused album, so that's fine. I don't care. This album was great. There are some negatives I have, but they're very few and far between. There were just some songs here and there, like Soraya, I think was the one that I mentioned where like it did it didn't feel quite as special and unique as some of the other ones but overall the high points of this album far outweigh any of the low points monique's vocals are beautiful she has one of the best voices in the metal scene right now her range is incredible the rap style stuff that she does i know she doesn't do screams really uh there, there's some kind that kind of like border on screams in this album there are like a few of them where it's like an angry rap, I guess you could say. Um, but overall, it's just, her voice is just so good. The second strongest part of this whole album that I didn't mention until a good part of the way through is the drumming. The drumming is incredible. Every part of the instrumentation, every every member of this band is, is incredible. The the bassist, when, when the bass parts uh, came above the rest, those were amazing. The guitar riffs and everything are really, really cool. But I think my favorite of the instrumentalists is the the drummer. His patterns and everything, they're constantly switching up. They're constantly doing something new. They're never the same. It keeps it, it, it like it keeps you on your toes instrumentally throughout the entire album and it stops it from getting boring for even more than 2 seconds. It's insane how talented every single band member in the of, of this band is. I can't speak. They crafted such a great album here. I think this is going to be one of my favorite albums of the year. As it stands, I'm going to give it banger this was a banger i really enjoyed the vast majority of this album and even the stuff that i didn't like quite as much i think might get better with a few more listens so we'll see that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching thanks for your support and i'll catch you all in my next video Bye bye